I've also got this SSD here, so I could add this to the pool as well. If you didn't have a lot of RAM, you might want to add a read cache. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to click on to add pool and I'm going to choose here L2 arc again with one slot and I'm going to add my SSD. Now, if you do add a read cache, it's very important to make sure that it's faster than the main drives in your pool. So if all of these were SSDs, there really would be no point in me adding this cache. But because these are all spinning rust, well, this SSD could in fact speed up reads from the Z pool. OK, so with that done, I'm now going to start up the array again. And so now with the array started, we can see this advanced Z pool here now with three drives making up the RAID Z data part, the read cache here, and one drive here for a hot spare. Now, it's lucky I've got a hot spare because this drive certainly isn't young.